16 million American men and women served in World War II. A dozen of the survivors placed wreaths at the war's memorial on the National Mall to remember the nearly half a million military members who lost their lives for our freedom. KNWA's Jesse Tenor is in Washington for this Veterans Day ceremony. War II veterans stood tall and proud of their service to our country, wiping away tears as hundreds gathered at the war's national memorial to thank them. Just wish I could have done more. Elizabeth Lewis served on a hospital ship as a surgical nurse in the Army. Jeff Goldstein was a B-17 waste gunner. It got pretty scary a couple times. Lewis and Goldstein, along with a dozen other World War II veterans, laid wreaths at the memorial's Freedom Wall to honor the 400,000 men and women who didn't make it home. They call themselves lucky to be alive. After close calls in the skies over Germany. I couldn't get my gun fast enough to take a shot at it. And at sea with the Japanese. We didn't have any arms aboard, you know. So that was the worst part. These veterans are inspiring younger generations to not only thank them this Veterans Day, but also to continue to protect the freedom they fought for. Yeah, I think I'll go and no, maybe the Army. 11-year-old Matthew Tingstrom has delivered letters of thanks to veterans for the past 10 years. I think they deserve thanks. Tingstrom's family is part of that history. One of his grandpas served in World War II, the other in Vietnam. His dad, uncles, and sisters have also served, and his brother is currently deployed in Afghanistan. I'm proud to be his brother. Um, I think he, I think he's doing what he's, he's doing what he's trained to do. And these veterans were proud to hand off their legacy to future servicemen and women like Tingstrom with a little advice. Stick with it. In Washington, Jesse Tenor, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.